Hello and welcome back to a page by page review of Dune by Frank Herbert. Today, page 445, Liat Kynes continues to die and continues to hear thoughts from his father regarding uh, the terraforming of Dune and that they only need to have 3% control of the energy of the system to then tip it into a self-sustaining system eventually and instead of having full control and these precarious measures that they'll just have to tip and nudge. Uh, the Hawks continue to get closer to Liet, and he's losing control of his body. He has a thought where he says, why, are you, why aren't you helping concerning his father? Always the same. When I need you most, you fail me. And this is in italics, which is immediately a draw to for your eyes, just because you want to see uh, something change in the style and text. And this is his thoughts, which are very fun. It's a more intimate way of reading. Let us know what you guys think about that. If, do you like italics? I like italics. But... Um, With his dying mind, he's again annoyed by his father and says he sees a path for Arrakis that's different than anything his father had ever imagined. And his father has the line, no more terrible disaster could befall your people than for them to fall into the hands of a hero. That's what I said. Reading my mind, exclaims Kynes. He thought, well, let him. And brave, daunting uh, words in the fact that his own mind is creating his father in this vision right now. It's his own hallucinations. And uh, really interested to see if more italics come on the next page. Let me know your thoughts and keep reading. Dune by Frank Herbert tomorrow, 445. Or 446.